have some right targets on the sun area. Yep, that would be it. Airship time! <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Get something there. there it is. Yeah, it does look like we get something. All right, you're finding the site, you're step one. So, we're going to have to get into the site a little bit before we can tell Great exactly nap, hold position, please. where we are. Yeah, so, yeah un unlike other shipwrecks that I've seen, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I think you're looking at the water yeah. ballast recovery uh, veins that ran up the side of the ship. There was one for each engine, and uh, it basically separated the uh, exhaust gases of the engine into water yeah. and that's how they reclaimed um, their ballast after they initially took off each time. If we go forward and we run straight into biplane number four then we'll know exactly where we are. Oh my gosh. So that's one of the planes? It is one of the planes. That's plane number four. It's a lot worse. Extremely worse. Wow that's what happens over nine years. Wow. Bruce are you seeing this? Of course you are but yeah, it's one of the aircraft, I think. It's no, it's number four. Wow. Science. Those are uh, two of the spars for one of the wings. Yeah, it's... And in the center, you can see the fuselage. Yep. Yeah. So in 2006, both spars were upright, and the, the starboard side spar had a lot of ribs on it. And actually, we've never kind of seen the, this fuselage view because the, the spar... Both spars have been up and there have been ribs in the way, so you can see the fuselage right in the bottom portion of the screen, the side of the fuselage. Um, the top of where the biplane so center section is, and then the port side wing is in your, is in your other view. All right, so Bob, let's fly on top of it, and if you can fly kind of by the blue view, which is... Yep. On Rachel's screen. Yep. And this and biplane um, does not have the hook mechanism on top of it, so this will be one of the shorter the ones. shorter ones? Okay. Yeah. And that's why I want to acquire a couple, so we have no surprises. Yeah. Because <laughs> surprises underwater are bad. What we're passing over right now is the center section. Um, coming up in the coming up in the, Herc view. In the Herc. Coming up in the Herc view. Wow, look at that in Neat. those images. So what you're seeing on the left-hand side of the screen is the forward spar of the aircraft. You can just see how the other one has collapsed. Um, wow. The port wing of the aircraft looks like it did in 2006, but the starboard one is, is completely de deteriorated. It looks really gross. So this is the port wing? This is the port wing. So, Will, just for reference there, you were about 2.2, 2.5 meters above the high point of that plane. Oh, All right. Wait, wait, wait. So this is number two. Wow. That's and you can super see close. number one in the distance right there. Yeah. And you can yeah. see the hook. There is the hook. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Number one should also have a hook on it, but we'll find that out. And these two look... Amazing. Good. <laughs> better than number four looked, but they always did. Um, and right. the better preserved aircraft is number one. Of course, each went through their their individual wrecking mm -hmm. e events. That could have something to, to do with the deterioration. The, as you can see on this one, it has things fallen on top of it. Um, it could have could have had some sort of effect about how it deteriorates. I think that is a cork walkway that's on top of it. Yeah, we think it. I think it is. So we're coming up again right now on biplane number two. Stepped up. Copy. We can see a lot of green snow and grossness going on. Um, right in the distance, you can see biplane number one. Biplane number two and one are facing each other. Get ready in channel two. They're good friends. And what we also want to look at later on in the survey is whether or not we can still see the engine on biplane number one, which we could see in 2006 and I actually think that that's the propeller still sticking up. This is that drive shaft again at the end of this over to the left hand side we should get to see the the Maybach engine the first engine that we'll probably see so that'll be good. Okay Will you're clear to come down. Whoa. Here is our first engine. Look at all those fish. And it's shaft. Um, that's also the uh, Allison outdrive that allowed yes. the propeller for the to 
change direction to point either forward, up, or down. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up on aircraft three and a big fuel tank and some cylinders. Megan, we have many viewers who are wanting to know about the Macon and how it sank and a little bit of its story. Um, we are on the site of the USS Macon airship. It was a rigid frame structure um, with individual gas bags. It went down off the coast of California where we now are in 1935. Go ahead, Rich. Along with its four biplanes. Five more south, please. The, the airship was involved in a storm after coming back from one of its missions. The top vertical tail fin ripped away and then it had an air shear rip that away. Unfortunately, it also ruptured some of the gas it bags. It makes sense to be this. And so you want to it keep sank going. in the ocean. There were 83 people aboard, 81 survived. Bridge nav, can we get five meters west? 